So what I'm going to share with you guys in this video is how to be the freaking man, like how to actually be the man around women. And to be totally honest with you, this is probably going to shock you a little bit because it goes against everything that you've been told growing up in terms of how you should act around women. So with that said, let's get right into it. Now, in this video, we're going to go really deep into something primal, something that is ancient, something that has been buried so deep within the bones of the human race that no one dares speak of it. No one wants to admit it, but we all know that it's there. We all see it. Something that pulses just beneath the surface an unspoken truth that they've tried to cover up with soft words and pretty lies for pretty much our entire life. Now, as a man, you have been told that women want kindness. You've been told that they want gentleness, that they want a man who will bend to their will and to their every wish, a man who will hold their hand and whisper sweet nothings into their ear every single day. You've been told that if you're soft enough, if you're agreeable enough, that you will eventually win her heart. But oh, what a joke this is. So I want to break it down for you. The truth that no one dares to say out loud is pretty sinister, to be honest. Now, every woman out there is biologically wired to be drawn to something called dominance, power, strength. Now, this is not the watered down version that society tries to sell you. It's not what you think. What we're talking about is the real thing, the kind of thing that shakes the room when you walk into it. The kind of dominance that doesn't need to beg, that doesn't need to scream to be heard because it is simply felt. Now, if you look at the dawn of time all the way back that far, it has always been this way. Back when our ancestors fought tooth and nail just to survive, women weren't looking for the man who would bring them flowers or write them poetry. No, not at all. They were looking for the man who would protect them. They were looking for the man who was able to lead them man who could dominate the situation. And the man who stood at the top during this time, the one who could crush his enemies and take what he wanted, this was the man that women wanted because that man was safe. He was the safe option, but not in the way that you would think. So here's the kicker. Nothing has really changed over thousands of years. Nothing has really changed at all. Society has evolved, sure, but you know, we've got technology, we've got civilization, we've got fancy suits and business cards, but deep down, in the places that they don't talk about in polite conversation, women are still wired the same. They're still drawn to the man who exudes dominance, the man who walks through his life with the air of someone who takes what he wants, who doesn't ask other people for permission. So why is this? It's because dominance, my friends, is power and power is security in the eyes of a woman power simply means that you are capable it means that you don't need to ask for approval because you are the one who makes the rules and women they feel that power they sense it on an instinctual level and if you think that they're oblivious to the subtle dynamics the answer is no they're not they're actually tuned into these subtle cues far better than you could ever realize Every time that you walk into a room, every woman who lays eyes on you is sizing you up. Not consciously, no, it's much deeper than that. It is instinctual, it is biological. They feel it quite literally in their bones, they feel it in their blood. Now, don't misunderstand me, this isn't about brute force, it's not about you know being some kind of tyrant throwing your weight around, not at all. True dominance is calm, it is controlled, it is knowing who you are and not needing to prove it to anyone. In fact, it is the quiet confidence, the unshakable will. It is the man who doesn't bend to the whims of the world, the man who moves through life on his terms. And women, well, they can't resist that. They are biologically wired to crave it. They are hardwired to crave a man who has power, a man who is dominant. But let me tell you where most men go wrong. Most men out there in the modern world, they think that dominance is about aggression. 
think it's about being the man who shouts the loudest. The man who's always trying to look like an alpha male everywhere he goes. They think that it's about forcing their way through life. That's actually not dominance at all. That's what we call insecurity. True dominance is the man who doesn't need to raise his voice because his presence is simply enough. It is the man who makes decisions and sticks to them, who isn't afraid to lead, who isn't afraid to take control when things go sideways. I want you to really think about this. Why do you think that it is that women are drawn to the quote unquote alpha male? The one who doesn't ask for her opinion on every little thing. The type of man who takes charge, who moves through this world with purpose. It's not because he's kind. It's not because he's sweet or any of that nonsense that they try to sell you in the media and in movies and stuff. It's because he knows that he is in control. And that control, that power, is what creates attraction on a level that is far deeper than words on a level that is deeper than anything that a woman can even explain to herself. In other words, when you're able to do this correctly, when you're able to exude the type of dominance that I am speaking of, a woman will not even be able to explain to herself why she's attracted to you, but she just will be. Now, women will say that they want a nice guy. They'll say that they want someone who is their equal, who will share everything with them 50-50. But when she meets the man who dominates the room, when she meets the man who commands respect without asking for it, her biology suddenly takes over. Her instincts begin to wake up. And then suddenly, she is drawn to him like a moth to the flame. And she doesn't even know why. In fact, she can't even help it. And the nice guy, well, he's simply left in the dust, scratching his head, wondering why his politeness never did anything for him, why women never chose him for that. You see, what you have to understand, my friends, is that women are biologically wired to be attracted to dominance because dominance is strength at the end of the day, and strength means survival. In fact, it is ingrained in them, just like it is ingrained in you to protect and to lead and to conquer as a man. But here's the thing, most men out there have been taught to suppress that side of themselves. They've been taught to tone it down a little bit, to fit into the box that society has built for them, to be good or to be nice or to be the good little boy, so to speak. They've been told that being dominant is wrong. And in many cases, they've been told that being dominant is toxic. But let me ask you this simple question. What is really toxic? Denying your true nature as a man? suppressing the very traits that make you powerful, that make you authentic, or living life as a watered down version of yourself, all because someone told you that it's not polite to be strong, that it's not polite to lead or to dominate. What's truly toxic, my friend, is telling men to ignore the fire that's burning inside of all of us. What's toxic is the lie that says that women don't want a strong man. That is what's toxic, my friends. Women want a dominant man. And this lie has destroyed more men than anything else out there. You want to know why so many relationships in this world fail? You want to know why so many men out there never get the girl that they want? It's simply because men forget who they are. They bend, they break, they give up their dominance, their power. And once they do that, guess what? Women lose respect for them. And without respect, there is no such thing as attraction. Women are biologically wired to crave dominance because it signals strength. It signals stability and control. And here's the best part about all this. Dominance isn't something that you can fake. You either have it or you don't. But the good news is, you can build it. You can tap into it. That part of you that's been lying dormant, waiting for you to wake up and simply take control of your life. Because once you do this, once you stop seeking approval, once you stop bending, stop apologizing for being a man who leads, women will begin to notice. They will definitely begin to notice. They will feel it quite literally in their bones. They'll feel the power, the confidence, the dominance. And suddenly, before you know it, you will become 
the man who doesn't need to chase because now women are chasing you. So let me ask you this simple question. Do you want to unlock that primal part of a woman's attraction? Because if you do, you have to stop trying to be what you've always been told that she wants and start being more of who you are. Be a leader, be a man with a vision, a man with a mission, a man with a purpose, a man who isn't afraid to step up and take control, who doesn't need to ask for permission simply to exist. You see, dominance isn't about being louder. It's not about being stronger or more aggressive. What it's really about is standing firm in who you are. It's about knowing what you want and then going after it without apology. It's about leading, even when the world tells you that you should follow. It's about being the man that she can look to and know without a doubt that when things get rough, you won't crumble, you won't flinch, you will simply be able to lead. Because deep down, that is what every woman on this planet is wired to crave. They're not wired to want a man who blends in. They don't want men who tiptoe through life trying to please everyone. But a man who dominates his world, a man who knows who he is and who stands tall no matter what, that is what they truly want at the end of the day. So let me just leave you with this. Stop listening to the lies. Stop trying to be what society says that you should be. Women don't want a man who plays it safe. They never have and they never will. What they truly want is a man who knows his own power, who walks into a room and commands it without saying a single word. The less that you try to please, the more that you become the man that they can't resist. And when you do that, when you own your dominance, when you own your strength, when you own your power, you won't have to chase anything, my friends, because women, by their very nature, will be drawn to you, is built into their biology, it is built into their instincts. And so if you can do this, then you, my friend, will become unforgettable. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.